Hello everyone, it is the end of February, which means it is time for me to scratch my face. No, it's February favorites time. I had a great month this month, lots of things happened, including Valentine's Day, which I love. And on Valentine's Day, just to jump right into things, we went to a little place called Sketch. We went for afternoon tea. It was beautiful. There was an entire room that was decorated in wall to wall to floor to ceiling pink and the furniture was amazing and it was such a great atmosphere. The food was so good. It was an all around experience for me and I had a great time. So I just wanted to let you know that I loved going to sketch for afternoon tea. If I ever had to really go hang out with someone that I wanted to semi impress slash lounge around, it would, it would be there. It was really, really nice. And I guess I'm gonna get into the makeup stuff now. I have so many things, it's crazy, and I didn't think I had any. I'll just start with this, it's the first one I grabbed. This is the first Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Polish. It is an exfoliator, it says it brightens and purifies, and it's safe for sensitive skin. So the first time I used this, I was like, this smells like a chic salad dressing. It's kind of weird, but I actually like the scent now. It's very, um, what's the word? Fresh. It's a very fresh scent, but I like it. It's really gentle, but great for exfoliating my face. And just to let you in on some TMI info, too much information info, I feel like my skin has been shedding. Like, I feel like a snake. I'm getting a second skin on my face or something because every day I look in the mirror and I'm just like, there's more skin. I'm just like peeling off skin. That's to keep her. No, I'm kidding. What am I saying? Anyway, good exfoliator. I like it. Because my skin has been quite dry, I've been loving this. And by loving, I mean L O V I N G. I am loving it. It's amazing. Like, uh, amazing. It's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. Um, I have the shade Vanilla 02. I think this is incredible. I love tinted moisturizers with a passion because I hate that heavy feeling on my skin. I'm actually wearing a little bit of this today on my face. It is a gel cream. It has a strange consistency, but I love it. And it kind of just glides onto the skin over any imperfections. It doesn't give an insane amount of coverage, but that's what I like about it. it let's my normal skin shine through and then I can, you know, concealer the hell out of the rest of my face which is great, but it's very hydrating. It looks great even at the end of the day. Great color match, and I would highly recommend this if you are looking for a new tinted moisturizer. Just probably my favorite favorite of the month. You've probably noticed that my, you know, my whole face is a little bit, um, I'm not wearing a bright lipstick is what I'm trying to say, which is, you know, it's a different look for me, but I'm kind of into it for a regular day. I'm just having a chilled out day today. So this is the lipstick I've been wearing a lot of the month. It is a nude. It is by Tom Ford, very fancy. I think this is my first Tom Ford lipstick and it's appropriate because it's called First Time. I use this so much that the little TF logo has rubbed off, which makes me really sad. But as you can see, it's just a nice, nude with a little bit of pink but not too much pink. I feel like it doesn't totally wash me out but it gives the nude effect. But what I like about this so much is that it's it's kind of matte but not and it stays on the lips really well and it doesn't fade in a weird way. I just love it. It's kind of like a no-brainer color. You just keep it in your bag and just kind of slap it on. You don't need a mirror. I love it and I feel very fancy whenever I use that packaging. That packaging though. Another very fancy item is the Burberry eyeshadow in the shade Pale Barley. If you remember last month, I had the shade Rosewood as my favorite, I think. Um, so this is a new addition to me. I did a blog post all about this. It is the most stunning brown, shimmery, gold, taupe, everything I could ever ask for. I'm wearing it today. It looks amazing when I pair it with some eyeliner as well. I was just far too lazy for that today. I can't explain it. It's just like a one wash all over the eye. You don't have to think about it and it looks fantastic. A little bit of, you know, shimmer that makes me happy. So I love the magnetic closure as well. It's just very satisfying. Mm, love it. Hair wise, I have been using this, which I tried not to shake up, but this is the Dove Intensive Repair Leave-In Conditioning Spray. There's a clear layer here and a white layer there, and then you kind of shake it together like this, and then it turns like a milky color. I finished up my old leave-in conditioner, and I started using this one. It doesn't look like I've used that much. I've only used 
probably, oh, that's bubbles. Like I've used about this much of it because I don't wash my hair every single day. But every time I wash my hair, which is, you know, two to three times a week, depending on my dry shampoo levels, um, I've been using this. It makes my hair so soft and smooth, but not too smooth, if that makes sense. So I have been loving it a lot. Not much else to say about it. Just mist it through the hair, brush it through. That's it. In the shower, I've been loving the Soap and Glory Whipped Cream Luxe Cream Wash Shower Butter. That is a long name. It's kind of like a hybrid between a like body conditioner and a shower gel. So I think it's amazing if you've got dry skin. I just love the smell. It's so nutty. You know I love nuts. Oh, it smells so good. Kind of almondy, just amazing. I'm gonna give some love to my friend Chelsea's online store. It's called shopenome.com, I believe. And I went a little bit crazy on her site at the end of last month, I think and I've been loving everything that I got. So the first thing is my ring combination. I Instagrammed a picture of my rings the other week and I've been wearing this combination all month long. I just wear three rings on one hand, I love it. So they're all from different places. Um, the middle one is from Shop and Omi, the one on my index finger is by And Other Stories, and the one on my ring finger is by another feather. So I love all the rings, I will link them down below if I can find them, they are making my life better, basically. I also bought this, which is the Herbivore Botanicals Coconut Bath Soak. And again, it looks like I haven't been using it, but this was filled to the brim. And I've used this in, I'd say, three baths because you don't need a lot. It smells ridiculous. If you're a coconut lover, you're gonna need this. Oh my God, it smells like real coconuts but better, like better than real coconuts. And basically I just sprinkled a tiny bit of this. This is gonna last forever. And it makes your bath so like soft. It makes the water feel so soft and it kind of has a thin foam on the top of the water when you get in. It's just like stepping into a latte. That's what it feels like. You're stepping into a coconut milk latte. It is so good and your whole bath smells like coconut. It's just a wonderful experience. So if you are a coconut lover or no one, I would highly, highly recommend this. And since Chelsea and I are friends, she actually sent me two things as well. So the first thing she sent me was this Soul Sunday The Pits. I'd seen this on her site before. I've always been curious. It's a deodorant. It's a natural deodorant and you know that I love my La Vanilla, but I thought I would give it a go. It's kind of weird because it comes in a jar and you kind of just like take some and just like smear it on your armpit so it can be there's a learning curve to it definitely but I suggest warming it up in your hands first and then slapping it on otherwise things can get messy but I was actually amazed at how well this worked it didn't work for me when I went to the gym so sometimes when I go to the gym I need to use something with a little more power you know but for every day this was so nice so if you're looking for a natural deodorant Check this out. And she also sent me this candle, which I've completely burned. It's down to the down to the bottom. I'm so sad. It's called Vanilla Plum. It's a Shop at Omi exclusive, I think. And it's by PF Candle Company, which I love in general. Oh, it actually says Anomi exclusive. So yeah, you can only get this on her site, but just a mixture of vanilla and plum. It smells very clean and fresh. It takes over the room and in a nice way, like it almost smells creamy. I'm probably not making sense, but if you're a candle lover, check it out. I have two fashion-y favorites I wanna mention next. Um, the first thing is really weird, like you're not even gonna believe that I've worn these, but I have heels, high heels. How strange, it's weird, I know. So I bought these because my friend Monique has them like plastered all over her Instagram. I'll link to her Instagram down below because she has amazing style. But I was just like, I need these. So they look very similar to the Celine shoes. And I love those Celine shoes so much, but these were much cheaper and they're actually super comfortable. I find that like, when you put your foot in, because it has this kind of like asymmetrical cutaway, it just elongates your leg and it's just really unique. I think it's really cool. So. I don't know if they're still available. I'll link them down below if they are, and if not, I'll try to find something comparable, but I mean, I'm just obsessed. Every time I've gone out, I've worn these, and I don't typically go out much, but I'm trying this new thing where I go out to 
parties and stuff sometimes. It's weird, I know, but I feel like I never know what to wear and I don't wanna wear shoes that are totally out there. So these are just like a nice standard pair of heels that are just kind of like my go-to. So I've worn them a few times this month and I'm loving them. Speaking of going out, I wore this, bleh, just, Hit myself in the face with that. I wore this jacket out last night. Um, I think this particular color, it's like a dark forest green. I think it's an exclusive to that store in New York, but I'm not sure. I'll link to the gray one down below because I love the gray one as well. But in particular, I'm loving the green one because I wore it the other night and I feel like it's quite unique. I got lots of compliments on it. It's just kind of an unexpected color, but it's still a neutral. So I thought that was really neat and it's very, casual, but it can be dressed up. So I could wear this in the daytime, but I also felt comfortable wearing it in the evening. I can't wait till it gets warmer so I'm not like freezing my boobies off, but in general, this is a new favorite of mine, loving it. I feel like I have more things to say that are not um, items. Oh yeah, um, Drake's new mixtape. Can we talk about that? I love Drake like you don't know. The day that came out, I listened to it all day long, okay? And then every day since then, it's the only thing I've listened to. The only thing I've listened to. I have all the feels about it. Um, I could make an entire video about why I love Drake, but I love the new Drake. In total contrast, I've also been loving Pretty Little Liars, which is totally not my normal style, but I started watching it just to kind of kill time as I was like doing the dishes and I'm so hooked, I can't get anything done. I'm forever watching Pretty Little Liars. Who the hell is A? That's what I need to know. But I'm only on season one and I was like, no, no, I'm on season two now actually. But I was like, oh, I hope there's lots of seasons because I don't think I can live in a world that doesn't have Pretty Little Liars. And there's like five or six or seven seasons or something. So I'm good for a while. And, oh, cereal. I don't think I mentioned this in my last favorites, and I'm not talking about cereal that you eat. I'm talking about cereal, the podcast. So this was the first podcast I'd ever listened to. The podcast follows a murder that happened in the 90s in America, and it's kind of talking about like who did it, who really did it. There is someone in jail who was convicted of the murder, but it kind of goes over the evidence and there's so many things that don't add up. And if you like crime, if you like drama, if you like mysteries, but you like real ones, oh wow. Say goodbye to your life because I just gave you the key to unlock the kingdom that you cannot leave until you have listened to all the episodes. I don't know, but it was insane. I made everybody I know listen to it, including my mom and Aslan. They both got hooked on it and I think you should listen to it if you're into that sort of thing because it's, it's it's so interesting, it's so interesting. And I think that is everything. I'm looking at my list, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to wrap up this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter because I'm a tweetaholic. You can follow me at Essie Button. And I also have Instagram. If you didn't know, I post religiously on there. Again, at Essie Button. All of my social media links will be listed down below, including my second channel, which is my vlog lifestyle channel, which is youtube.com slash Essie Button vlog. So go check it out and subscribe if you want a little more of this world and that's everything. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hello, I am doing an empties video today. But first, take a look at this necklace. I'm really, really into this. I just like keep going like this, but then I'm trying not to get it tangled. So it's like quite difficult.